Hello, good morning everyone. It's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I want to welcome you to my live. I'm just going to check here. This is try number two to go live. Yes, you are coming up on my iPad. So yay. I don't know what's going on with Facebook, why it's always taking me two times to uh, get to go live. I just, I'm not sure. If anybody knows what's going on, let me know. All right. So I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Um, it is Monday and let's begin our Monday on a positive note by crafting. Today I'm going to be sharing a fun card with you that I created on Saturday in a um, demonstrator training event I was part of. Uh, where we were focusing on techniques. So, and this card is just so super cute that I had to share it with you as well. And we are going to be using blending brushes on our stamps. So let's flip you around and um, get started. And I'm gonna tell you about a couple different things before we get to stamping. Um, so today is Monday, May 31st. That means it is the last day to get in on that um, joining special that's go been going on for the entire month. It is, um, you pick $206 worth of products and you pay 135 there is never any shipping and charged on your starter kit and um, whoops okay so let's pull you up here so um, come on oh silly 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 Facebook why do you do this to me? Um, all right, so the last day is today to join and it's not coming up on my iPad. It keeps telling me permission denied. So I cannot see if you are saying hello. I don't know if I am by myself or not. If anybody is joining me because it's not it's not letting me, um, I can't, I can't bring you up on my iPad. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So hello, Stephanie. Good morning, Carol. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not coming up. I don't understand what is happening with my, yeah, I don't know. So enough messing around with that. Today is the last day to join um, the Stampin' Up! family at this fabulous price. I've been talking about this all month long. $206 worth of product for $135 um, plus um, you get a paper pumpkin kit, you get catalogs to hand out to your friends, you get to be part of a fabulous um, Stampin' family that um, loves to share um, their creations and inspiration with each other. Um, so if you want any more information, just give me a holler and I'd be happy to chat with you. But remember, today is the last day to get in on this uh, deal. That's that's a, over $80 worth of uh, products extra for free that you're going to get. Okay, my sweet as a peach stamp camp. This email went out yesterday. I have a blog post. I posted to all my social media. This is going to be a fabulous, um, fun event that... Um, I will be um, having on two separate days, um, if need be. Um, just Friday night, uh, June 25th from 6.30 to 9.30, or Saturday, June 26th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So you're gonna make eight projects, uh, six cards, uh, two each of the three different designs, 
and two 3D items. There'll be a pillow gift. There'll be some prizes. So um, let me know if you are interested. Um, the sign-up deadline is the um, 7th of June. I had to think about that for a second. June 1st is tomorrow. How crazy is that? Okay, as well, tomorrow, June 1st, um, kits are going live on the Stampin' Up! website. So Stampin' Up! has taken their kits out of the catalog to um, make more room for other products, and the, the kits are going to be online only and while supplies last type of thing. So we've got our paper pumpkin, which is always... But they're bringing back some um, past popular uh, paper pumpkin kits, only they've kind of reconfigured them a bit, um, as well as there are other kits um, to choose from. But you can go to my um, online store, which is www.stampinwithmarcy.com and the Shop Now button, and it's going to show you the, um, if you click on the kits, um, it's going to show you all of your different kit options. Okay, so let's share what we're doing today. Okay, so today we are using Turtle and Friends. Oh, we've got quite the glare. I do apologize. And Spiral Die. Now, um, this here, I'm calling this guy, this is Franklin. Who else remembers Franklin? I actually did a quick search to find out when Franklin was on. Um, I cannot sing. My daughter, Danny, has a beautiful singing voice, and she did not get it from me. But the theme song, Hey, it's Franklin, coming over to play. <laughs> That's all I'm going to torture you with. <laughs> Um, Franklin had a, he was a six-year-old turtle, and he had a best friend named Bear. Um, my kids loved this show. So this little cutie is Franklin. And I really wish that I could um, see what I could bring you up on my iPad, but I just can't seem to do it. It is not cooperating with me so right now I can't um I can't I can't respond to any of your comments um there's something goofy going on so um I do apologize I will go back I'm just closing it out and opening it back up and maybe this time it will work um I will go back and take a look and see what um, everybody has been saying to me because, like I said, I can't see your comments. So, um, Franklin was on in 1997. Um, it came out, and I had, my children were born in 1991, 1992, and 1994. I took 93 off. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get started. So, look at this background. How fun is that? So you are going to need, we're going to get started with that first. So um, here's the punch. This is a bundle um, that, bringing in my Stamparatus. So the bundle can be found in your fabulous annual catalog on page 56. And it's only $41.25 um, is the catalog price for this adorable stamp set and the uh, coordinating punch. Uh, so that's page 56. And then the spiral die background stamp. Uh, which for me was a must-have right off the get-go because I thought it was so fun, is on page 118, and it's $23. So let's take a look at how we are going to create this fabulous um, background with the two different colors. So I'm just going to move my card out of the way. And move all of this stuff here. Okay, I can see on my phone here, um, 
Jeannie says, your kids watched Franklin and loved him. Yeah, I actually Googled the theme song um, to see what exactly. Let me just pull this out for a second because, like I said, I used this on Saturday so for the team training event. And I just want to make sure that it's got no martial hair on there. So we need to have our stamp set underneath. Okay, so, and I've got a couple, um, you can see here, I've got the um, pencil lines here, but what I'm gonna do first, because I'm gonna be applying the color and closing the door and then opening it back up again, I'm gonna be doing that a couple times. So what we're gonna do is we need some kind of an adhesive on here. Nope, oh, it would help if I took that lid off. We need a, a little titch of um, adhesive here, like a repositionable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Stampin' Seal and I'm gonna put a dot on each corner. Come on. There we go. And because this is really, really super sticky and I don't want it to um, rip the paper or anything, I'm just going to use my thumbs, or you can stick it to your arm, or your um, any clothing, just to take some of that um, tack out, so that um, it's easier to um, remove it. But you want it to be still a little sticky enough to um, get your cardstock down and secure all right so there we have it it sh hopefully should not move okay so our colors are mint macaron and soft sea foam so with this technique you're going to use your lighter color first on your um, background stamp and you're going to build it up so let's take our blending brush. All right, so let's just move this stuff here out of the way a little bit more so that we can get completely in here for you to see. Get this one out of the way. All right, oh, we're gonna need that. All right, so I am just, I'll put this up here, I am taking and getting my um, soft sea foam, my favorite green, onto my blending brush. And I am just going to come in here and I'm going to apply the ink all over this stamp. And this uh, gives you a much lighter tone than if you were to go right ahead and um, ink it with your um, pad right from your pad to your stamp. I am softening that color by using my blending brush here. So actually let's take a magnet so that that stays. And what I've done with my magnets is I covered them with washi tape and then with packing tape. Uh, the packing tape is something that I got from the dollar store. So unfortunately, I can't get any more right now because that is a non-essential item here in Ontario. We are still in stay-at-home lockdown. All right, so we are gonna now close the door and I'm taking my handy-dandy dry eraser that I picked up at Staples for $2.99. Great deal. Um, and I am using that to apply even pressure to my stamp. Okay, so you can see that it's so faint, you can't barely see it. So we need to come back in and apply more ink. And this technique does take a few extra moments but I think it is worth it it is so super cool 
you just have to keep um, building that layer. Okay, so we can see that we are we are coming along. You can see that we've got some of that color there now. So the more you do it, the deeper your tone is going to be. Now, when I showed Danny this card, she said it was like, um, it reminded her the spiral um, stamp reminded her of um, Finding Nemo when the sea turtles um, caught that that stream, the ocean stream. I don't know what it's called, that um, they floated along in it. If anybody remembers or knows what that's called, pop it in the comments. And after the fact, I will... Um, read and uh, respond but I seriously cannot remember what it's called so you take a look at the background here and see where it is lighter in areas so that way you can tell where you need to apply more of that ink And this card was created specifically to be popped in the mail. See, I need, I can see that I need right up here. So that's this area here. Um, to, uh, I have a couple littles in my family that I haven't seen in a very long time due to, um, where they live. One lives in Sarnia, one lives in Gananoque. So um, I picked up some fun um, treats to pop in the mail to them. And I uh, wanted to have a fun card to go along. So I thought, well, what better set than the stamp set to use than that Turtle and Friends. So they're each gonna be getting a Franklin card in the mail. Um, as well as their little fun surprise. Okay, so look at how we've got a nice coverage there. So we are going to I'm going to close this and get it out of my way so I don't accidentally um, use it instead. All right, so because I'm using my dark, the darker on top, I'm not going to be contaminating my lighter ink pad because now that I'm using my dark ink pad, I mean, Mint Macron is not dark, but it is darker than the soft sea foam. So... I know that I need to, I want to add some color in here. And can you see that? Um, so we can tell exactly um, where we have applied that color because of the, um, the depth of it. So I'm just adding here and there. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some color, just random. There's no rhyme or reason, it's just random, like I said, and hopefully I have not just smooshed that, moved it too much, and I'm gonna have an issue with my Come on. All right. Fingers crossed I didn't just wreck it <laughs> with lifting it up. Ta-da! Look at how fabulous that looks. 
Isn't that so cool by applying your lighter first and then your darker on top? And because I can still see, if I wanna come in with a little bit more color, because I can still see exactly where I have applied the Mint Macron, I can now come in and I can bring a little bit more in um, here and there just to intensify that color. So I'm just going to the different areas where I can see that I had applied um, my colors. So, like I said, this technique does take a few more moments than just quickly inking and stamping, but I think it is so worth it because you get such a fun and unique um, colored background or colored stamp. All right, so there we have it. Oh, I want just a smidge more right. Which one is that? It's that one right there. I can tell by the shape, so it's this one right here that um, get in there, color. All right, there, all right, so. And with the Stamparatus, you can be assured that your um, ink is going exactly where you want it. And because I have taped it down, See, here we go. I've lifted it up and look at that fabulous color. Oh, now imagine this stamp with other colors. I've chosen greens because of my Franklin the turtle, um, but you can choose any number of other colors to be using such as, um, imagine that with your blues. Um, wouldn't that be really cool with um, um, some pool party and coastal cabana or um, pinks like um, a blushing bride. Oh, Marshall, don't you knock my plant down, buddy. Marshall's sitting in the window and there's birds at the bird feeder and he's a little excited <laughs> so all right so we are gonna come in I had another piece cut just in case I messed up that first one all right so we're gonna come in and we are gonna stamp our Franklin here on this piece of cardstock and we're gonna stamp him with memento because I'm gonna be coloring him in with my blends. And you wanna take a look when you're stamping, you wanna take a look at the orientation in your punch so that you're stamping, um, so that you're not wasting a whole lot of um, cardstock. And then these two here, circles, those are, there's gonna be a glare, those are your um, eyes your white and your black of your eyes if you're if you're punching out in colored cardstock. All right, so before we um, put you away and do anything else, we're going to come in as well because the inside of my card has a sweet little turtle as well. I just love this guy, he's so cute. All right, so our little baby turtle is gonna go here because we want to give it a moment to dry because we're coming at them with our Stampin' Blends. All right, so get you out of the way, get you out of the way. Let's, while we're on the inside, let's bring in our hearts and real red, our little heart stamp and let's just stamp some hearts there. Okay, close up the real red because that is a color I would definitely get everywhere. All right, so then we're going to 
um, go back in with our mint macaron. And we want some grass. So, we're just random stamping some grass here. And I just put my finger in some ink, because that's how I roll. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but man, it is hard to not get ink everywhere. All right, so our little turtle there has the um, grass. Now, this is for this layer here. We've got some grass for Franklin to be standing on. So we are going to take, this is from the layering circle dies. And we're just adding some grass here. All right, I think that should be good. Now, Next, you are turtly loved. How stinking cute is that sentiment? Like, seriously. I, I just love that. And this stamp set is not just for littles. Don't think that. Um, I personally would love a card like this in the mail. It would make me smile. And I am sure that you've got um, friends in your life that would think the same thing, that they would be like, oh, how sweet is that? Now, there's my sentiment. So cute. I'm just trying here to see. Refresh my page. And nope, it's still permission denied. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I, it's just so strange. So strange. Okay, so I am so sorry, guys. I really wish I could chat with you and see your comments. Um, so we are going to be coloring in with the dark soft sea foam the dark mint macaron, and we have to have little um, rosy cheeks. So we've got the light petal pink for my Stampin' Blends. All right, so, because we like a nice rosy cheek, don't we? I know some people like to use Flirty Flamingo, the light, but I find that still Flirty Flamingo is awfully um, bright for me. And I am a Settles girl. I love my Settles. So um, that's why I gravitate to the um, light petal pink. All right, so I gotta pay attention here. We don't want Franklin to be all wonky colored here. We don't want him to have green eyes. Okay, so just by going over that um, petal pink, it's going to lighten that color up. And I'm not doing any shading or anything like that. I'm just coloring in and I'm turning the cardstock so that the, the area that I am coloring is right in front of me. You could, you know, come in and add some shadows and shading and all that, but I don't think today it needs it. This card is just cute enough without it. Okay. And then coloring in the shell, and then we're gonna stamp right over top of this.
crazy weather we had here this weekend in southwestern Ontario. Oh my goodness. So cold. So cold. Frost warnings. I'm hoping that that is the end of that nonsense. Okay. Next, let's do little baby here. So does anybody else, I know Jeannie has this set. So I messaged her last night to say, Jeannie, make sure you watch tomorrow morning. I'm using Turtle and Friends. Does anybody else have this set? I'm hoping after seeing my card today, how easy it is to create such a fun and cute card that I may inspire a few more of you guys to take another look at this set and possibly add it to your shopping cart the next time you're placing an order. Super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little toenails. So, and I'm keeping my colors, you know, the same. Mint Macaron and um, Soft Sea Foam. Alrighty, now let's hope I can line this up better than I did for my um, demo training event on Saturday. <laughs> I did not do a good job. I had to stamp another one when I was all done and um, color and um, put it. All right, let's see how, how far down can I get this? I'm standing on my tippy toes so that I can get a better view over top. Hold my breath and hope that I did okay and I'm thinking I'm a little low. Oh, and I've got splatters. Ah, what is that? I had just re-inked. So, I don't like that, guys. So guess what I'm gonna do? I am going to really quickly, because this is live, you never know what you're gonna get. And you know, when you're doing it, When you're not on camera, you never have any issues. But as soon as you pull that camera out and go to record a video or do a live, that's when you mess up. Okay, Inside Turtle is great. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna peel my shell off that stamp or that block and there I've changed the block to a larger block and let's super duper fast color in and hope that this time I do a better job. I am persnickety is the term I like to use. And that turtle just will not do. So that will be cut off the cardstock and go into the garbage. Because yucko. This just goes to show that we're all human and we all make mistakes and it's not the end of the world. Generally, you can fix something with an embellishment, but there's no fixing that. Franklin does not want bling on his shell to cover up those splotchies. So... We're just gonna 
recolor it in. I think it's so funny that I did mess up yet again on camera and I, I did it off camera on Saturday and I just I glued my new Franklin right over top of the old all right so now that I've got a bigger block to see and we look good there's no ink in between Oh, that's better. I can live with that. It's a little to the back, but I'm okay with that. Yay. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're just going to open up our punch. Slide him in. And adjust him so that we've got even, a nice even border as close as possible around. Give him a punch. All right, so cute. All right, so let's get this out of the way. Bring this in and all our pieces. So we have our thick basic white cardstock base. And where did I put this here? My bone folder. So we're gonna fold and burnish. And then we're going to bring in our um, layers here. Let's do this first. And my glue. Okay. So. scooch that over just slightly that's why I love my liquid glue all right and then this is this layer here is four inches by five and a quarter um, and then my mint macaron is an eighth of an inch larger for your basic layers you just go up an eighth of an inch so that it's a nice um, not too big of a border around it that's showing so it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And it gives that beautiful border around that. But oh, I just love the way that looks. Now, so we just, before we go ahead, I want to decide, do I want it here? Or do I want to turn it this way and have it here? And you know, I think I like a bit of that showing, so I'm going to put it this way on my card base. You don't need tons of glue. All right, so. Let's scooch over. Okay. Now let's do our inside piece with our cutie patootie for the inside. Okay, open up. It looks like I think I have some cardstock stuck in the lid of my of my glue. Of course I do. All right, so sweet. Okay, so we are going to um we're going to use the mini dimensionals for the um for Franklin here because I want no saggy 
So we want to put on his um, legs. We want, because his head is going to come off slightly, so we don't put it near his, too close to his nose. One down by his bum, one at the top of his shell, one on his neck, and down here. Yes, I like my dimensionals. So that way, when we put him on here, see his nose is gonna be sticking off. So we wanna make sure that we don't have any dimensionals there. Peel the backings off. I'm golfing with my guys later this afternoon. I golfed on Saturday and oh my goodness, it was like I was a brand new golfer and had forgotten how to golf. It was bad. It was 12 strokes worse than um, my Monday round, which wasn't great. Being it was my first 18 of the year. So you can see that I've got no dimensional popping out there. It's tucked just inside. And Franklin here, he is all um, supported there, so he's not going to um, get all sad and saggy. So then we're gonna put three dimensionals on the back of whoop, our scalloped circle from the layering circle dies. All right, so then we are going to take, put this so that we can kind of figure out. And I want um, the circle to come off slightly. So it's, it's off of my um, basic white cardstock and kind of overlapping the uh, mint macaron at the back. All right, so now I need to find my snips. Here they are on my messy tabletop. So I am going to, as you can see, all I did was just angle cut. Makes it just, you know, rather than just your straight on. So not a severe angle, just a slight angle. Um, about there. That looks pretty good, I think. Man, I just, see, look at... <laughs> My cardstock stuck to the inside of my lid. I just love that. You are totally loved. It is such a sweet little sentiment. Okay, so then we are going to just put you down here. Turn that to make sure that I am straight. I like to look at it from a couple different angles. Now, Genial Gems. These are on back order right now, but they're supposed to be back in stock hopefully this week or so. Um, love these things. Um, they just add so much to your project, and they happen to be um, Mint Macaron is the green, and Pale Papaya is the other color. And as you know, if you follow me, in my videos, I like to add a little bit of my liquid glue to my um, card base before I stick my embellishments on because I like to make sure that they are not going anywhere. Whoops. And I like to use my pokey doodle end of my take your pick tool. And one more. Right there, so cute. Oh my goodness. How adorable is this card, you guys? So sweet. All right. So there we have it. So as you can see, you're at the background. It, it depends on how much color you're adding as to the tone of it, each one is gonna look a little different. Oh, I do apologize. FedEx just dropped something off and Miss Maisie is like, hey. <laughs> 
somebody is here on my front yard and that's not acceptable. So, um, yeah, and I still can't bring up my, I still can't bring up my, um, it's not showing. So, I do apologize. I will, um, I will go and read all of the comments as soon as I'm done and respond. I do promise that. So look at how sweet is that? Oh, so, so cute. So cute. All right. So I want to share some of my fabulous cards that I've gotten in the mail recently. Um, my birthday cards as well as some thank you cards. So this is from my friend Diana Gibbs from the United States the True Love Designer Series paper and the um, alcohol, the uh, Stampin' Blends on vellum. She sent me this beautiful card. Okay, and then this beautiful, adorable thank you card is from um, my friend Melissa T. Super cute. Okay, then we've got some birthday cards because last Sunday, the 23rd, was my birthday. So this is from my beautiful daughter Danny there's some Marshall hair stuck to it she painted this um, freehand for me it's not beautiful oh and then Brad always makes me a card on the computer uh, this is from my friend Tammy how gorgeous is this card and I love that she added that B um, and they're her little shaker elements so cute Love this card, Tammy. Fabulous job. And then this card is oh, from my other friend, Melissa R. Beautiful birthday card. I love the way she, um, the fancy fold. So cute. And this is from a yet another friend, Rebecca. So pretty and sparkly. I love how this... Um, is die cut out and then the the flowers are stuck underneath a bit and all gold embossed gorgeous who remembers this die and this um muskoka chair this is from my friend chris oh love i i believe i still have this because i thought um this die was just perfect um i forget what the name of it the set was called but beautiful and was this top note die so lovely and then this is from Darlene isn't that gorgeous look at that sparkle on there so pretty Darlene fabulous job this is from my friend Joanne beautiful love the uh, gold and then she's got some little extra details of the little vellum flowers on there so pretty this oh and it's got Marshall hair. Marshall hair is stuck to this. This is from my friend Marg. <laughs> oh, there's lots of Marshall hair stuck to it. Um, we're at our age. We're gonna need glasses and lots of them. It's so fun. And this is oh, my son Damon and his wife Allie. Lovely, lovely. And this one is uh, from my friend Sharon. How pretty is this? Um, I don't remember what this is from the mini catalog, which is retiring the end of the month. So stuff is um, now on the retiring list for this. Beautiful Sharon. This is from my friend Diane. Love the butterflies stamped right on the um, cardstock and then embossed with the, um, the 3D brick embossing folder. So pretty. This is from my friend, oh, my friend Pat. My friend Pat gave me two cards. <laughs> She put a note in with it and she said, this card here was her first card. Love this card. And she used the um, shimmery white embossing powder. I love this powder. It's retired, but I still have it. I won't get rid of it. I love it. Um, look at how it just adds that sparkle to that. So she created this card um, 
before the new catalog came out. And then the new catalog came out and she just loved this um, paper and that and the embellishments. So she um, made me another card because she just had to with this um, new product. So, and then she stamped on the, she's got on the inside some um, designer series paper as well. Oh, just beautiful. I feel so lucky to have so many wonderful people in my life that um, thought enough to send me a card, as well as those that sent me messages and texts and emails and all that. Like, wow. All right, so let's just quickly, because I've been blabbering on for so long guys so sorry but let's just flip you around here and tighten you up so you don't go swinging all right so there we go now i can see some g it says genie's watching <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. I uh, truly do appreciate it. Um, thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. It's how I reach more crafty friends. I'm always on the lookout for new team members, new customers, new crafty friends. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I will see you on Wednesday night at 6.30. Um, have a fabulous day everybody and i um hope you um enjoyed today's project and don't forget if you've been on the fence about joining stampin up today is the last day for that fabulous um deal and it was this month's deal was better than the one that they offered in february so um i would love for you to join my stampin family so uh um, if you have any questions just message me um otherwise you just go to my um, blog and click the um, join button um, and don't forget about my um, sweet as a peach stamp camp oh I am so excited for it I just love that suite of products so um, I can't wait to do some um, fun crafting virtually with you guys through zoom all right that's it for me have a fabulous day and I will see you on Wednesday bye for now